Hello there. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Like you know, I always say it. <clears throat> I always say that it's an honor for me to be in this position where I get to release prophetic messages to you. And my prayer always is that this should not just be another word you hear, but it should be a word that is coming to either edify you, it's coming to give you direction, it's coming to confirm something God has told you, it's coming to redirect you somehow. I just, I always pray before I release prophetic words that it should minister to someone. And believe me, if this particular word only ministers to one person truly, if it speaks to one person, genuinely and and really has an impact on them then i am good to go i am fulfilled mission accomplished so god bless you if this is the first time you're joining thank you so much please check to see if you already subscribed to this channel if not kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live or there is a release of a prophetic word you will not miss out we always come on live once every day at least once every day to pray and believe god the, that the promises over our life manifest we come on life maybe god might lay a teaching in my heart we can come on life to share that teaching that god has given me hoping that is going to edify someone is going to minister to someone god bless you and to all my returning subscribers you already know i love you you're always in my thoughts you are always in my prayers hallelujah god says they are watching Everyone knows. Everyone knows. They are watching. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, I just thought of myself and I laughed. You know, there are certain things that, of course, you know you're a Christian. You know you're a believer. You know you love God. And sometimes you are permit. You feel like, I could have a moment of weakness. I could just do this. Maybe you are in a very tight position and you're like, okay, let me just do this. It's okay. I mean, I can't kill myself or I can't. I just want to have a breather from this life. Sometimes you feel like the Christianity you are in is even choking you up because it's a lifestyle. You see this Christian walk is a lifestyle. It's not a, a show you put up. It's not a charade. It's actually a life you live. And sometimes it might be suffocating. I tell you the truth. Sometimes you just wish you can go to a place where no one knows you and just be and just live a life that makes you feel like there is nothing. But God tells you, they are watching. Everyone knows you're a believer. Everyone knows you're a Christian. And even though they are not Christians, even though they are not living right, they know how you're supposed to live. There is an expectation of you. They expect you not to speak in a certain way because the Bible says our words should be seasoned with salt. Guess what? They might not even know that, and but they expect that from you. They expect your words to be seasoned with salt all the time. It doesn't matter how angry you are, how flared up. You've got to put yourself together have that composure and be able to still speak words that 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 do not destroy still speak words that help someone you know there are times when somebody hurts you so bad you just want to curse you want to say something that is going to hurt them in return it is not expected of you because there are people watching you there are people watching you i remembered a scenario you know, sometimes you feel like people do not know you because maybe you personally you live a very quiet life and you think people do not know you. But I got into, uh, there was a scenario, I was in a particular place and someone really pissed me off greatly. The person really pissed me off greatly and I was really in that mood to give them a piece of my mind. I, because sometimes when you sit quiet, it's like you're just dumb and everyone wants to ride on you. I wanted to give them a piece of my mind. For some reason, I just felt a restraint in my spirit. I just felt like it's okay. Be quiet about it. And guess what? Just when I was quiet about it, someone just came from behind and shouted, Hello! I'm like, 
hi I'm, I'm trying to figure out if i know this person from somewhere because the way they smiled at me i could tell they really know me so because i'm into business as well i felt like okay maybe it's one of my clients that have maybe they've bought ones from me and i don't know them and the person said prophetic intercession with amel i follow you on youtube i'm like oh yeah yes thank you so much and in my heart i'm like oh thank you jesus <laughs> I was like, thank you, Jesus, because I was able to hold myself. I was able to retain myself. And she told me, I, 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 I really looked, I saw everything that happened. And I really want to say thank you so much for reacting the way you did. Thank you so much for keeping your calm, even though this person was pissing you so much. And I was like, I went behind. I'm like, yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I was about to lose it. And so people, you might not know it, but people are watching you. They know you are a Christian. They know you are a child of God. And they have a particular expectation of you. Does this mean you do not confront situations? No. But confront situations graciously. Be graceful. Be graceful. Even when someone gets on your last nerve, put yourself together and communicate graciously. What does it mean to communicate graciously? There is a mother in church that you know she really inspires me she's very beautiful intelligent smart married she has kids she looks like someone who has it all but i see how she is gracious how she gives grace to people how she communicates even when she's pissed up she knows how to carry herself she knows how to be composed and sometimes when i'm praying i'm like god please help me i know that we do not have similar characteristics. We do not have similar characters. There are sometimes, or most of the times, I am someone who likes to, I'm, I'm highly opinionated. So I want to pass my, what I think across sternly, you know. But there are times that it's not needed. You are going to win people to Christ by your behavior, by your actions. Your life, I, I made a video so, a very long time ago, and I said, Unfortunately, your life might be the only Bible someone will ever read. And if you pass across a wrong message, that is what they are going to do. They will say, oh, is that the Christianity you're talking about? I don't want to be a Christian. But if you communicate the right things to, to them through the life you live, they could just walk up to you someday and say, please tell me about this Jesus. Tell me about your God. And that is how you're going to win them across. That is, why you're, that is how you're going to win them over. I know this is not easy, believe me, but I pray for you that as you listen to me, that God will give you grace to be able to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. That is supposed to Paul speaking. He says, live a life worthy of the call you have received. God has called you to a higher life, the Zoe life, the God kind of life. But you need grace to live a life that is worthy of this calling that you have received. I pray that God will help you. I pray that God will multiply you in grace to be an example. Even to people that are looking up to you. They want you to know and they want you to not know. That God will help you keep raising the bar up high. The bar up high. And God will help you to be an example. People would say, indeed. This one has been with God. It is seen. Even people who used to know you before, they will have that confession in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Did you receive this word with gladness? God bless you. Keep your cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.